Hi family, I hope you're good. I hope you're feeling blessed. It's just a stop pushing my heart again. I'm <laughs> you know when I do this. <laughs> it means there's a lot of stuff. Uh today I want us to talk about dreams. Alright. Um <laughs> when oh, oh, let me scratch myself. I scratch myself on the basis that I'm about to talk about okay it's not easy to come out and tell your testimony let me let me be honest with you it's not easy to tell people what you because it's shame all right but <laughs> we tell it because the spirit of god enables us and we tell it because we just say god whatever you want to be done through this it's done um i just want to advise somebody at home uh, you must remember, I'm telling my story, it's a choice of anybody to take it or leave it. And to believe it or not, you know. But I know that God will convict anybody that he wants to convict because it's not by power. Not by sight, by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not by our works, but by the work of the Holy Spirit and the work of Jesus Christ on the cross. So basically what we're doing, we give our testimony because those who have a testimony as the son. So uh, I want somebody to know at home something today. Uh, not every dream, dream that you have is a dream that is coming from God. Because God speaks in his word and God confirms everything by his spirit. And God doesn't speak anything that brings fear and terror. But anything that is the opposite of that which God has given you, God has not given you a spirit of fear. So anything that brings fear and terror is definitely from the opposite, you know. Uh, you go through from, you go Old Testament, Jacob, jo Joseph, uh, the interpreter Daniel himself. Men of God have been known to dream. But today I just want to tell somebody that not every dream is a dream that is coming from God. I just want to tell somebody that not every dream that you have is a dream that is coming from God. Some dreams are dreams that are honestly coming from the enemy are dreams that are coming from the devil it is just how much wise are you or spiritually enlightened or discerning are you to know that this is not a message from god any message that god brings through his spirit will be confirmed by scripture anything that god says doesn't come with fear anything that he says will come with trembling for your faith, you know, for your salvation, but nothing of the opposite. Anything that is opposite of what he says we must do is not of God and from God. There are a lot of dreams that are coming to people only to distract them from their path, only to distract them from their walk, only to distract them from what they are and what they have, you know, to, to, to either... Uh, recruit you to the kingdom of darkness or to distract you from whatever you are. Those dreams that you end up calling nightmares are not dreams from God, but rather dreams from the kingdom of darkness. I will not come here and say a story of a hereby or somebody else. I will tell you about me. I thank the Lord Jesus. I was this person that was able to inflict and pour out any dream i wanted to anybody not by anybody's power but my own my own power that i bought on earth to enable me to do things that other people cannot do everybody knows uh you know it's a shameful past but it's a part of who i was you know i had contracts that made me who i am and I thank the Lord Jesus that I'm freed from that. But I cannot run away from the fact that this is who I was. You know, family, I was able to go to a grave. Use anybody's picture in a grave. Use a brain of a cat, you know. 
you hear people say cat has seven lives and all that and all that i'll use a brain of a cat a left foot of a cat and a um you know a cat has i don't know are you gonna call them all foot whatever that is i'll use the left ones and the brain and um and the grave and the picture of anybody and i'll start inflicting any drastic or destructing uh, uh dream i will start to inflict nightmares on anybody that i wanted to in order to get way to do whatever i wanted to do in the life of a person so i Porsche how have done it before where i was able given power from darkness to do whatever i wanted to do literally with anybody that i wanted to do there were times that i would even you know it's, it's as sad as it is sometimes i used to tell women that or men whoever men or women came to me with regards to their partner or anybody they wanted with regards to family that make sure convince this person to sleep naked if you were able to sleep naked i was this person that says to the person i'll visit visit this person at night if they are you are able to convince them to sleep naked because it was easy access for me to come to that person if the person sleeps naked i will even ask them to give me the picture of that person i'm not talking about a picture that people will just put there and claim all this nonsense that they think they know with regards to pictures i will take your picture literally to the grave in order for me to evoke the spirit of a third person so that that person will take your image and do whatever i command that person to do so that i can do and inflict anything i wanted to inflict on you so if i wanted you to dream in order to distract you from something that i i am wanted like you know family there are people that will come to me for promotions in order for me to distract you from your work sometimes what i do is i'll make sure that i give you nightmares that will distract you in order for me to come in and do whatever i want to do to you so that whoever my patient my client is able to conquer and get the position that you are in so what i'm saying to you today is not all dreams are coming from god dreams that are coming from god are dreams that come with peace are dreams that come with with certain uh, certainty dreams that come with calmness dreams even if it was a scary dream dream it's a dream that will never ever ever make you uh be fearful it's a dream that you pray and you become after praying so there are dreams that will come and will leave you terrified but i just want you to know that not all dreams are coming from god not all dreams are dreams that are coming from god i push them out used to inflict people using dogs you know if i want a married woman to be distracted a, a, mar a married man to be distracted in a marriage because there's a mistress or a man that is after your partner i will use a dog and your a picture of your partner in order to convey you know let me tell you about a dog be it male or female a dog can never behave well especially around may june july you see this the mating seasons dog behave like animals that they are so around those days are times for me to work on any partner that i want to distract and i want to inflict anything diabolical you see for that partner to behave destructive in their marriage or whatever so that my client will come in so what i'm saying to you somebody at home is not every dream is a dream that is coming from god you understand some dreams are dreams that you are inflicted with by people that are evil and there are dreams that you are inflicted by by water spirit like i told you spirits that do not have vessel and are in search of vessels or they it's just from the dark kingdom and those are not spirits from god remain in total 
submission to the spirit of God because the spirit of God is the spirit of truth and the spirit that will direct you to the word of God. Everything that God says in his word, in his word remains. The Bible says my Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall remain standing. God does not inflict you with fear. God does not inflict you with nightmares. God will confirm everything that he says to you through his spirit in his word. So everything that you have that is beyond what God has told you is not godly. This is just the intro and the beginning of what we are going to learn more about dreams not all dreams are dreams that are coming from God. Do not be afraid of dreams because me and I come and stand here to tell you that I've inflicted people with dreams that are diabolical. I've inflicted people with the dreams to distract them from their work because, you know, I want their position for a certain client. I will eat so easy for me. You know, I would make somebody behave like a dead person because I worked on that person with a grave. For that person to behave like a person that is a corpse, a person that is dead long time ago, that person will not be productive in his position and will fail. You know, the person will be lazy, the person will be sleepy, the person will not be productive because a person like me, with the powers that I used to have, is busy working on them. So what I'm telling somebody today is immediately you have a dream. Pray about it and trust God, you see, for the outcome. The problem with us is we have dreams and we become terrified. Sometimes we have dreams and we, we focus on this dream. I can focus on a dream for three days. I had a dream like this and this. How about you trust God with the dream that you have given? Pray and not worry. The devil wants you to worry because once you focus on the dream, sometimes I inflict you with the dream in order for you not to focus on your faith, not to focus on the word of God, not to focus on your prayer life, not to focus on the promises of God. But I bring a dream in order for you to focus on a dream so that you make path for me to walk in. So it is important to understand not all dreams are coming from God. Not all dreams are genuinely messages from God, messages that will be confirmed by the Spirit of God. These are not messages that, you know, when God shows you things, he may show you things through dreams. He may give you messages and warning through dreams, but the spirit will confirm if something is from God and the word of God will confirm whatever you dream. God doesn't speak outside his word. Remember that always. And I want somebody to know at home, you may be struggling because of nightmares. Sometimes you are someone that has a gift that is to work to edify the church. But the enemy wants that gift to work for his own kingdom. It is clear. The Bible says he came to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to steal you from the kingdom of righteousness to the kingdom of darkness. So understand, believe, and walk in understanding that he has nothing beside having your soul because he is trying to recruit also for his own kingdom. This is just the beginning. This is the first part to walk with people with different dreams. But I'm speaking from my own experience. I was able to make people dream literally anything that I want in order to distract them from their own work, from their own marriages, from the, I would distract cause a commotion through graves because I'm working with spirits that are dead. 
So any spirit that is dead can call. I can call. I could command it to visit anybody that I want and to do whatever I want only because I have powers to do that. So what I'm saying to somebody now is not all dreams are dreams that are coming from God. Is it a snake? It's possible. I killed a snake, a dead snake, and put it on a grave of somebody and began to evoke that spirit in order to possess the body of a snake and begin to, in, uh, to, to, to visit you. So not all dreams are dreams that are coming from God. Begin to saturate yourself in the word of God. Begin to hide yourself in the word of God and begin to understand how God speaks to us because God has spoken to us in his spirit and the spirit of God is here as the spirit of truth to direct us to the truth of God and to confirm everything that God has taught us. So not everything that is spoken in a dream is coming from God. Sometimes it's just a message from the devil because I, Paul Shemha, used to inflict, inflict people with dreams. So I'm telling you there are people out there that are able to inflict you with dreams that are not dreams from God. Do not let you night do not let nightmares control and have control of your life. Do not let nightmares scare you and reposition you. You understand? Don't let anything and anybody move you from who you are. Jesus is Lord. He was Lord yesterday. He is Lord today. He'll forever be Lord for eternity. Jesus is Lord when I'm awake. Jesus is Lord when I'm sleeping. And Jesus will remain Lord. The very Jesus you confess as Lord is Jesus who is in charge of you. He doesn't come to you in a scary way. The Bible says, and the peace of God that transcends human understanding will guard your heart and your mind. God, remember Jesus brought peace between man and God. He is the only mediator. He cannot bring peace and start bringing nightmares to you while he is seated at the right hand of the Father. Whoever brings nightmares to you is one that works against you. May the Spirit of God lead you and make you understand that not all dreams are dreams by God and for God. This is only part one of what I, Poshamha, is to do to inflict children of God, people that are not firmly rooted in the Word of God, people that are vulnerable out there. Anything I wanted to inflict them with, it was possible for me to do it with the Spirit of the dead. With the powers that I had received. But Jesus called me for a different purpose to warn everyone out there to know that not every dream is a voice of God. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed.